Did you know that in the United States, approximately 130 people die each day as a result of an opioid overdose? A shocking statistic indeed, and one that underscores the gravity of the drug epidemic that has gripped America for decades. Rewind to the 1960s. The counterculture movement is in full swing, a time of peace, love and unfortunately, the birth of recreational drug use. Psychedelic substances like LSD and marijuana become popular, marking the beginning of a long and tumultuous battle with drugs. Fast forward to the 80s and the landscape changes dramatically. Cocaine and crack cocaine take center stage leading to an alarming increase in drug-related crime and violence. It's a grim time but it's also a turning point. The government launches the War on Drugs, a comprehensive campaign to combat drug use and its associated problems. The 90s see a shift towards prescription drugs. Painkillers, sedatives, and stimulants become the new drugs of choice. It's the start of the opioid crisis. By the turn of the millennium, the situation has spiraled out of control. Thousands of Americans are addicted to prescription opioids and the death toll is rising. And then comes the global pandemic. COVID-19 hits in 2020 and it's a perfect storm. Lockdowns, job losses, and the stress and isolation of quarantine lead to a significant spike in drug use and overdoses. The drug epidemic in America is not just a series of historical events. It's a continuous, evolving crisis that affects millions of lives. It's a complex issue that requires understanding, compassion, and proactive measures to combat. But combating this crisis is not just the responsibility of the government or healthcare professionals. It's a task that calls on the involvement of every citizen. Knowledge is power. Educate yourself about the history and the current state of the drug epidemic, understand the root causes and the societal impacts, and most importantly, learn how you can make a difference, whether it's supporting policies that focus on treatment and prevention, volunteering at a local rehabilitation center, or simply engaging in open, non-judgmental conversations about drug use and addiction, there are countless ways to get involved. The drug epidemic in America is a crisis that cannot be ignored. It's a battle that needs to be fought with determination, compassion, and collective effort. So arm yourself with knowledge, raise your voice, and take action, because together we can make a difference.